NASCAR heads to Talladega Super Speedway this weekend. And beyond the crowd, close racing, and closer finishes, here are three things to watch. Is this the weekend Ford finally wins? Ford is yet to win in the first nine races of the season. Now, the manufacturer does have four runner-up finishes, but continues to seek that first checkered flag of 2024. Ryan Blaney will be among the favorites for the Blue Oval Group. Blaney won at Talladega last fall in the playoffs, and that launched his bid to his first Cup Series championship. Now, in that race, Blaney nipped Kevin Harvick there just barely to win that race. Now, of Blaney's three wins, they've all come in the last nine races at Talladega, and all three of those wins have been among the closest in the Cup Series since 2017. Now, although Blaney has yet to win this season, he told me this week that he feels like his team is in a better spot than it was last year and that they've gotten stronger since last season. It's just a matter of finding speed, and if they can find that speed, look out. That's a team that could win multiple races before the playoffs begin. Also among drivers to keep an eye on this weekend in the, in the Ford camp will be Brad Keselowski. And Keselowski has, has won six times at Talladega, most among active drivers. Also to keep an eye on is Joey Logano, who has won three times at Talladega. When will the big one strike? Each of the last five Talladega races has had at least one accident involving seven or more cars. Now, last spring's Talladega race had a seven-car crash that saw Kyle Larson's car come up the track and be T-boned by Ryan Priest. Fortunately, both drivers were uninjured in the vicious crash. Now, last fall's Talladega race saw several cars crash coming to the finish line and saw both Chase Elliott and Riley Herbst slide across the finish line and finish in the top 10. Now, these accidents can happen anywhere at Talladega, in the front, in the middle, at the back of the pack, and they often do happen in any, any of those positions. But certainly there is no safe place at Talladega for drivers. And it's not been a, safe, a good spot for some drivers, particularly Kyle Larson, who's failed to finish five of the last eight races at Talladega due to accidents. Martin Truex Jr. has failed to finish more than a third of his career starts at Talladega. And Austin Dillon has failed to finish 38% of his starts at Talladega. So not the easiest place for a lot of these drivers. Will Talladega's streak continue? There's been a different winner in each of the last seven races at Talladega. It's been Denny Hamlin, Brad Keselowski, Bubba Wallace, Ross Chastain, Chase Elliott, Kyle Busch, and Ryan Blaney. So who could be a who are the candidates to make it eight different winners in a row? Well, here's a few. How about William Byron? The Daytona 500 winner is coming in hot with three wins this season already. He finished second last fall to Ryan Blaney at Talladega. And Byron has top tens. He had top tens of both Talladega races last year. Matter of fact, he's finished in the top 10 in five of the last six races at drafting tracks. So hard to discount the number 24 Hendrick Motorsports driver. Another driver to consider is Joey Logano from Team Penske. He has three Talladega wins. He scored two top tens in the last three races this season. Get in, showing signs of getting hotter. And he's ended a 36-race winless drought at, with a Talladega win in 2018. Well, he comes into this weekend with a 40-race winless drought. Is that something that he, history could repeat for Joey Logano? And if you're looking for somebody maybe a little different, how about Corey LaJoy? Is this the weekend he scores his first career cup victory? Now, I finished fourth at Talladega last fall. And in the last four races at drafting tracks, he has three top tens and has finished no worse than 13th. And those are your three things to watch this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.